How do you guys? Um, gonna get out today for a, well, for a couple more hours to be fair. Uh, yesterday was just a uh, half an hour session to test the new lure I brought and finally get it in the water. Um, Cause it's been sat in the kitchen looking at me and I've just been itching to get it out. And uh, yeah, I got it out yesterday. It was only gonna be for half an hour just to try and see how it works in the water. Um, turned into an hour because it's getting a lot of interest to be fair. And um, so from my point of view, it's pleased as punch really. Um, so only managed to one jack in the end, but um, yeah, that, that half hour turned into an hour session, just blasting around really. Um, there's three other takes that I didn't get on GoPro, um, but I never hooked up anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and yeah, I got saw a little, little jack pike uh, nailing all the perch fry as well. So um, today uh, I want to take the lure out and do a bit more exploring, um, bigger waters where I know there's some bigger fish as well. Um, I've seen I've seen and hooked a double where I'm going, um, but unfortunately it came off last time. So um, I'm not sure what to expect when I get to the, where I'm going on the canal because last night um, it got to minus five degrees in on average. Um, so a lot of canals still might be frozen. So if that if that is the case, uh, I'll still do a video um, and hopefully it'll be um, bridge fishing for pike basically. So because pike quite often will hang around bridges because they follow the uh, perch and other fish that uh, like to live around structure. So um, I've got a full back. If the canals are frozen, um, then that's what I'll do and try and get a video out of that. If not, and fingers crossed the canal isn't frozen, uh, I'll be able to wallop that lure around and, and really uh, really get some action caught on camera. Um, but uh, we'll have to see. I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's a new lure. It's new, uh, new uh, style of fishing for me. I've used jerk baits before, but not this sort. It's called a big dipper, I think it is, um, by um, Dave Greenwood. Um, I will put a link in uh, the video at the end if I catch anything. Um, just so, if you want to get in contact with him, you can do so. I've got no affiliation to him. I brought it, brought the lure myself. Uh, Twenty quid posted, um, and uh, yeah, I mean, yesterday. It, it, did the job so hopefully today it'll do the same again so uh yeah see you on the canal bank An overflow on the pound up from behind me dropping down into this which is what's causing this to be uh, a bit of melt water these small pounds but you never know what's going to be in them and chances are with this being so small it's been drained off I bet loads of times there might not be any fish in here but if I don't drop the line in I'm never going to know Him. What size of that? Get in! Oh my! Get in! Oh, he just. Oh, I know the freaking net's stuck. Oh, what a beast! Come on, go on, go on! Don't you come off? Yes, in the net. 
<coughs> oh, beastie. You're a good double you are. <laughs> Worth a walk in. Right in the bottom jaw. <clears throat> Can't get it out. Nearly. What the hell was it not coming out? Jesus, look at the girth on that. Oh, let's get you back and I'll wire you in a minute. Oh. Oh. oh, you beauty. Waiting time. Oh dear me. Oh, you are minting. I've already wet the uh with the net, the uh, hole that she's going into. Thought the fins the right way. Right. in oh it is a new PV as well just about sixteen eleven try once more try and do it so sun's not in the uh Sixteen eleven is going down to yeah. Sixteen eleven, bloody brilliant. Get back in the water because I'll have a look at her again in a minute. So, jeez, 
of wader uh, and uh, 1611 so it's beat my pb by what six pound uh, six ounces um, as you can probably hear she's full of beans i've rested up quite some time Of a fish, this is. Oh, make my day worthwhile. Uh, and I have to say, it's come to Dave Greenwood's lure for the uh, second time I've ever used it. So, jeez, I've weighed her. Uh, and uh, 1611 so it's beat my pb by what six pound at uh, six ounces um, as you can probably hear she's full of beans i've rested up quite some time oh, this is a monster of a pike look at that try and do it as low as i can but Absolute beast of a fish this is. Oh, it's make my day worthwhile. What an absolute clonker. She most definitely is the ruler of this basin. Get some air over her gills. Straight to the bottom. Lovely jubbly. Get in. Right guys, that sees the end of my uh, session for today. Uh, it is now 20 past one um, and I got here for about half ten. So I've had a good hours, few hours crack at it. Um, when I did get here, it was zero degrees and not surprising there was ice everywhere. Um, to be fair, I thought I'd get away with not being quite as frozen, but uh, in this area it was like minus five last night, So, and there's, there's still quite a bit of snow, uh, which we didn't really get over our way. So uh, my intention was to go bridge fishing. There's loads of bridges in this area, uh, and I was going to try and um, do a video on um, bridge fishing for pike. Uh, the only problem there, there was no pike under the bridges, so <laughs> that knackered that one. Um, what it did do in my favour though um, is it's forced me to walk quite a lot today um, to try and find open waters and um, as the day has gone on it's, got, it's warmed up to about 2.5 degrees um, which is, is spot on really 
um, but the ice is still not melted away quick enough. Um, I found a, a really nice piece of open water um, and the reason being I guess is because there's so many angles the wind can get to the water it's making the water really choppy so the ice just couldn't settle and uh, I've done my outing with uh, this, this lure for the second time uh, since I brought it and uh, it's this one from uh, Dave Greenwood um, and it's it really has it's delivered for me now twice um, in two days uh, not only did it deliver it it's, it's delivered me a new PB fish so um, Obviously, I, I, I'm going to sing the praises about that lure. What I will do in my videos, I'll, I'll put a link in for, for Dave, so anybody can get hold of him, because um, they are a spot on lure. Um, traditional jerk bait, it's about the same size as Squirrely Burt, um, weighs about the same, and uh, but yeah, it, the way it rolls in the water, uh, when, you, when you twitch it through, um, it shows its flanks, so it, it genuinely looks like an injured fish, and like other jerk baits, you can twitch it and jerk it just how you uh, how you want to really so uh, yeah <laughs> to say I made up is understatement um, as I said earlier but um, I'm, I'm leaving uh, a cold sunny day uh, one very happy chappy so uh, in a bit guys you'll be all right they're gonna eat you no but they stop tapping the wings now <laughs> 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 They'll think you got food. Oh yeah, I've got food, but I ain't eating it. <laughs>